Hello! Today we're gonna take a look at my favorite Python books. First book on the list by Alan B. Downey, at least I hope that's how you pronounce his name. Uh, it's called Think Python, How to Think Like a Computer Scientist. I really, really like this book. I think it's awesome for uh, beginner programmers. It will teach you the basic syntax of Python, but it will also go beyond that and teach you computer science uh, fundamentals. So, uh, especially if you didn't study computer science, I definitely recommend taking a look at this. It talks about variables, if statements, functions, classes, and will end up with algorithms and time complexity. It also has a lot of exercises in between, so that it will really help you solidify what you just learned uh, in the previous chapter. I highlight this book because, in my opinion, this book is very simple. Uh, college books, in my opinion, have a big problem, which is they're very big, they're very complicated, and uh, sometimes, like, uh, did you say overwhelming? Another reason why this book is awesome for beginners is the fact that this book is basically free. Well, not the physical version, but you can read it online completely free of charge, or you can order it from Amazon. So, next on our list, we have Robust Python. Man, like this is probably my favorite Python book ever. Um, this will teach you how to write clean and maintainable code, as the title says. And this book taught me how to think of code in a very different way. So in school, like, we've always been thought that programming languages are languages that we use to speak with uh, computers. However, however, that's true, but I think it's highly incomplete because code is also read by other humans, especially other developers. So your code has to be understood by the machine, but also very importantly, your code must be understood by other developers. And that's what makes an uh, average programmer, that's the difference between an average programmer and an excellent programmer. So, you may not really care about clean code, and that's totally fine. However, you should really care about your code. The good thing about clean code is that it will save you a tremendous amount of time, and better, it will also save other people a tremendous amount of time. The thing is, uh, in my opinion, writing and coding are much more closely related than what people think. Whenever we are programming, we are just expressing our creativity and uh, just putting our solution to a problem into programming language. Whenever we write something like an article, or even when I write scripts for this YouTube video, I'm basically also writing uh, a solution to a problem. Except the only difference between these two is that with programming, I use programming languages. And with uh, articles and YouTube scripts, I use natural language. And that's a big difference because humans are very good at understanding uh, human language, but they are very bad at understanding computer uh, language. And if you don't think so, please look at some assembly code. Whenever you're reading an article, you kind of expect some consistency in the writing. This consistency is the thing that helps you, the reader, understand the article better. The problem is, with programming, sometimes we lack this consistency. And what happens is, whenever the, when other developers are trying to look at our code, they don't understand our programming style. So, this book will basically teach you the etiquette in Python of how to write readable and understandable programs. One of the many things you'll learn with this book is how to use Python not just as a solution, but also as a communication tool to other developers that will eventually read your code. Robust Python really changed the way that I see programming. I used to think programming as just a solution to a problem, but now I really think of code as the solution and also the explanation behind the solution. And this book is definitely a must for people who, like me, really aspire to be a true Pythonist. Next on the list, we have Expert Python Programming, the fourth edition. This is by Pact. This book is a Bible. It's amazing. I think it's a really good book to broaden your horizons about Python. It will teach you a lot about the functionalities that Python has. For example, uh, it starts with dictionary unpacking, goes all the way to metaprogramming and also writing C extensions. So 
don't expect to memorize everything that's in this book. I like to think of this book as a very good reference book. So whenever I find some issues that maybe I can use metaprogramming or maybe that I can uh, write a C extension, I'll definitely come back to this book and uh, take another look at the approach and maybe see if I can use it in my own project. Next, let's get into the bonus section. Architecture patterns with Python. If thinking, if Think Python was a very good introduction to software engineering, I'd say this book is a very good introduction to architecture uh, design in general. So, if you're new to the topic, I highly recommend just you know taking a look. This book also uh, taught me my favorite design pattern, which is the repository pattern. It's something that I use pretty much daily, and uh, I think I'll probably use in all of my projects from now on. So uh, definitely take a look at this one. So speaking about design patterns, um, design patterns with Python, these are mostly all Django 4 uh, implementations written in Python. This is an excellent uh, reference book. It also gives you some uh, tutorial videos and you can uh, use the links in the book to check them out. So uh, if you're new to design patterns or you just want to like see the implementation in Python, I highly recommend this book. This was, I think, the first, no, this was the first book that I read about the topic and uh, it really put me up to par with, uh, well, most design patterns out there. So definitely check this one out. Speaking about Python and not mentioning machine learning, it's pretty much a crime nowadays. So the 100 page machine learning book, in my opinion, is one of the best introductory books for machine learning. Yeah, machine learning books, right? Like they're massive, they're very complex, they have very difficult terminology. Uh, when I started first learning about the topic, I had a lot of difficulties, even though I had algebra and calculus one through three. So uh, I highly recommend this book. It will start with you, we will help you from regression all the way up to neural networks, recur uh, recurrent neural networks. And uh, yeah, it's a great book. Uh, I highly recommend for someone who's trying to learn about machine learning and also for the advanced practitioner that's just trying to explain uh, his uh, juniors or even the stakeholders of different models. This concludes my Python book list. I hope you really enjoy it. I hope that uh, these books can help you as much as they help me. If you want to help, you can buy the books through my links down below. And that's pretty much it. Have a beautiful day.